Hello and welcome to UK Scrub Addicts. My name is Nikki Rowland and today I'm working on the single page sketch designed by Laura. Um, here I am choosing my supplies. I've got the Pink Fresh Studio uh, Live More collection and I've got an old freckled fawn kit and some other bits and pieces um, pulled out there. Um, I'm going to start by trimming some white cardstock to 11 and a half inches square and then choose a background. There we go, that's the one I've decided to go for. So I'm just trimming the manufacturing strip off of there. And unfortunately the back is beautiful, so I um, want to keep some of that. Um, so I'm just trimming um, the middle out of the cardstock there so that I can keep it uh, for, for use on a later project. Now I'm just going to attach the 11 and a half inch square white cardstock to that frame and then my background is good to go. Okay, now I've got some paint. This is the Starlights paint by, by um, Imagination Crafts. Um, I've just got some cellophane packaging there and I'm uh, going to get a paintbrush and put a little bit of paint onto that cellophane and spritz it with some water. I need to get it fairly uh, runny, so uh, just keep adding some water and moving it around on the cellophane until it's quite runny. Still not runny enough, so a bit more water there. And a bit of perseverance here. Okay, ready to go. I'm going to turn that upside down and put it straight onto my background. Okay, smoosh it around a bit with my finger. So now I've got a good stain there. I'm just going to add some more water to my paint left over on my cellophane and use a paintbrush to add some flicks around the big stain. Okay, I'm going to just blast that with a heat gun and um, set it aside to dry. Now that's dry, I'm just going to sort out the photos that I'm going to use and I'm able to position those onto my layout. I've got those square doilies from Freckled Fawn that I've had for years. There were so many million in a pack that they've been going on forever. Um, so I've put one of those behind my photo and now I'm just going through my embellishments to see what bits and pieces I can pick out uh, to use uh, with these colours um, and to go behind my photos uh, to give a nice uh, stack. Those uh, titles there are puffy titles, uh, again by Freckled Fawn that have been uh, around for quite some time now, um, but I haven't managed to use, so determined to use them um, at the moment. So there you are, that's the first one on fun. I've got a couple of tags behind my photo, so I just need to add some uh, twine to those and get everything stuck down and in place. I tend to use foam pads to raise up most of my photos and in between the layers as well. I'm doing this backwards, so I started with my photos and stuck those down, lifted them up and then stuck them to the next layer, lifted that up and stuck it to the next layer, etc. That's it, it's my twine on my tags there. And now I can stick everything in place. Okay, and the title can go on too. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, insert some ephemera. Um, this is the Live More ephemera from the Pink Fresh Studio. Uh, so that's obviously the papers I'm using. So uh, it's great to have those little bits and pieces that you can just easily add extra details with. I raise some on foam pads and some I just stick flat. That's left over from um, a pink paisley collection. They were very large discs and they were quite tricky to get into things. Uh, so I'm glad I've managed to use one of those in this layout uh, by um, cutting one in half and tucking the two halves under. Uh, just put a, a Hey Little Magpie flare badge in there too. And now I'm just gonna finish off with a few uh, enamel dots and sequins. <laughs> 